mass ride in Bury Stander's memory. Cyclists, family and friends, old and young, on the route which was so familiar to Stander. The ride ended where he was tragically killed. A short ceremony and prayer at the spot. His family feels all South African road users need to change their attitudes. He was so passionate about the sport and, and getting his, on his bike and riding and he was so committed but, but cycling was his life. You know, that, that's what he enjoyed doing. Um, you know, and, and, and if I'm sure if we went to him and said, Barry, how would you like to go one day? This, this would have been the way. Stander's death has touched many and there's been overwhelming support from people worldwide. Government also paid its respects to the family who wants to keep his legacy alive. It's incredible to see all the support that Barry is receiving, um, to know that we have the sports minister and the whole government and the whole of Cycling South Africa behind the Barry Standering Foundation and uh, to try and implement the one and a half meter passing rule to cyclists and runners. I think it's incredible um, to know that he's no, he hasn't died in vain. Um, I think it's one of the things that's pulling us through and definitely the support of the, fa of the whole nation. And I want to thank everyone for that. Government's also pledged support and has paid tribute to the cycling legend. And uh, in Barry's departure, we must see an opportunity to pick up a campaign uh, to protect sports people who do good for the country, but sports people and the nation in general to rid ourselves of road rage to rid ourselves of all the negativities uh, that surround the question of uh, undermining life itself and for those who do great for, for, for the nation. Stander's funeral is to take place on Thursday. A taxi driver will appear in the Port Ships and Magistrates Court tomorrow on a charge of culpable homicide. Renee Heiner, SABC News, Shelley Beach.